You guys, I have some major, major news. If you guys know me well, I don't make this claim often, but I think I have a favorite subscription box. If it continues to be this good. I love my Ipsy X so much, and that is what we're opening today, along with uh, the regular Ipsy Glam bag, and I paid for both of these, by the way, and then I'm also gonna talk about some jewelry I got in the mail that was free, but, or uh, sent to me free for review, but not sponsored. I am in such a good mood. I'm looking down because I love my new stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. And guess what I started doing today? I knew there was something else I had to announce and I couldn't remember for a second because I'm like thrilled. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I got up early today, which is unusual. I slept a lot too. Uh, still not going to have this video up by eight, which was my goal. I even did my nails, which has to do with today's video. I started vlogging. That was the next big thing. So uh, yeah, that is my fact of the day. I am going to start vlogging. I think that's a great idea to like, you know, I can ramble more to you in that way. I'm sure I'll still be talking a lot in all of these types of videos. Also, it's like just way more easier for me or I'm way more likely to jump on camera like more casually if it's vlog style. Like when I do these videos, it's not like it's formal, like look at me right now. I'm like sitting with my legs crossed, whatever. <laughs> But like, I don't care about how I look as much and there's no like guideline I'm supposed to go by and I think it'll be super fun. I can show you my space more. That's how I thought of this idea. I swear my best ideas come when I'm in the shower. <laughs> uh, probably because I have no distractions around me or whatever. But yeah, so I'm gonna start doing that. I just did a little clip and I'm thinking maybe once a week. It all depends on if you guys like it or not, but I hope you do. Uh, and you can see more of my life, more of my space. So. I can show you my office area because every time I plan to do the tour, I just, it's all clean and then a mess happens like within the next day and like, can you imagine having to show the, like everyone your house if it's messy and so I think it'll be way better vlog and I'm looking forward to it a lot. I have so many ideas already, but let's jump in to the Ipsy bags. I'm so excited and stay tuned. There may be something special for you guys in this video at some point, which reminds me and gives away what the something special is. If you guys have not yet entered, there is a giveaway going on for 12K subscribers. I keep forgetting to bring it up. Uh, please enter if you haven't already. There is an entry that is on the YouTube video for the giveaway and also on Instagram. So uh, check out my Instagram page and let's be friends there. I'm trying to be more active. I was on there last night, uh, baby steps, <laughs> but let's get started. So. My new love comes in a purple box, Ipsy X. It is $55 and it replaces the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. In one of the recent Ipsy videos, I could not recall like what bag it was, but it's the Ipsy Plus that replaces. So I think I paid like an extra 36, 36. It was some number like that with taxes. So it comes out to be a little bit more than 55. I uh, got seven to eight products and they're all curated by like a celebrity. So Patrick Ta did the February box and it is seasonal. So the next box will be in May. I like that it's like a little bit different than all the other seasonal boxes like off by month, but I think that makes it cool. I think more boxes should do that. It makes it more exciting, at least for us subscription box addicts. Uh, and you guys, I love it. It even like is aesthetically pleasing all the colors. I should have taken a picture. Um, and it's different. There isn't a bag like in the Ipsy Glam Bag or in the Ipsy Plus. There is this little like newspaper thing, which I haven't read yet. I'm super excited about it. So the Ipsy Glam Bag X issue number one. You can see Patrick Ta there. And I am just so excited. And you did get to customize this. I think I picked, how many things do we customize this? One? I don't know. Cool, so they talk about all the items in here. I like this format. I love everything about this. You guys are probably like, just get to the products, please. I'm like, I'm in a good mood. You know what that means, chatty chatty. I'm so dork. <laughs> oh, you could have gotten the Yensa eye cream. I think I saw that, but I didn't. Hold on. This is so cool. So let's get started. How about we start off with what is on my fingers, my nails. <laughs> I really like these. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing them when you're in a rush like I just did or if you're like a 30 year old child who shouldn't be trusted with glue. But I love this white color. I'm very 90s today. I'm wearing these like black and white striped pants that I got in a Stitch Fix video and this green crop top. 
and my white nails, and I'm just really digging it. I'm digging everything today. Uh, this is by Marmalade. This is the Aria Square Matte Silk Finish. Look at it. So they're not perfect because the alignment stuff and I got glue all over, but I really like them. For someone that sucks as bad as I do, like, I didn't even file them down or anything. Like, they're really good quality. I got some in an Ipsy sale that I haven't tried yet by the same brand. They're different, completely different, but I am liking them so far. <laughs> so this is the first item. And it came with a bunch of extra nails, so all different sizes. I think I was able to find like good sizes for my nails. Sometimes uh, some are too big, so that's not what she said. And there's glue, and nail file, and all of that. And yeah, I really like them. We'll see how long they last. And I am in love with my eye look and everything. I'm just gonna keep saying that. And I don't have the lights on very bright, but I love. I'm so weird today. So the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. So I guess it's the second one or something. Uh, you get 18 eyeshadows. I did take a little clip when I was getting ready. Like Emmy was making the funniest face. I already posted it on my Instagram story, at least the photo, but there's a video too, which I'll insert here. She was like mad at me because I wouldn't pet her with my foot. She does a foot fetish. Um, I am in love with the shade Pink Diamond so much. That is what's all over my lid. I tried this for the first time last night. I was thinking, oh, did I touch? Oh no, never mind. But I was playing with this makeup, especially this palette last night, like really late. And I was gonna film, but I ended up not doing it. And I had to use the same shade. Like, I love it. And it's so buttery. Oh my God. I don't want to use any other palette ever again. Like, I just freaking love it. I love these shades. These make me feel very like beautiful in like a feminine way, if that makes sense. Like, I like how it looks with my eye color. Let's talk about the lip next though. But like, yeah, everything I've used, the mattes, the shimmers, I love this palette so much. It's like $68 or something like that. And that is more than what I paid for the box. And I'm in love. And Huda's beautiful, the coloring. And I love that they provided a lip color that coordinates like all the boxes should. There's something else, to there's a few things to do. Like, Patrick, I love you. And this is my type of shade. Uh, but by, what is the brand? About Face, we got a lip color. And in my PR Ipsy Glam Bag, I got, or Ipsy Plus, I don't remember what one. Uh, I got one of these and it was like an eye paint, like the fluid eye paint. But for a second I was like, am I like a total idiot? Did I put lipstick like on my eyes? Like that could also not be safe, but obviously I'm fine. Um, Cause it looked just like this, but it was, it's called like the fluid eye paint. And this is the matte painted lip color. And I think I have a new brand I really love. And I'm so glad Ipsy introduced them to me about face. I love their packaging. And I love the shades that I got in the eye color. Uh, I'll link that video down below if you guys missed it. I'm obsessed. This is called Last Good Night. I love it. Uh-oh. They're so in my teeth this whole time. I noticed that like when I was putting it on, I like started smiling or laughing at something on my phone right after I applied it. Which again. That's attractive. But I love it. And it's not the lipstick's fault that it's on my teeth. It's my fault for not checking. So this About Face Painted Matte Lip Color, it looks like there's a variety of colors at least that they're showing here. And this is an Ipsy exclusive, $22. And Patrick has tips for all the items in here. And if you don't know who Patrick Todd is, he's a famous like celebrity makeup artist. And he's famous for creating super saturated lips. So he had to add this. This is a new brand. Oh, awesome. It's created by Halsey. I like her, she's cool. So the nails must not have been something he picked or something, I don't know. But let's move on. So something else that coordinates, freaking scrunchies. You guys know I love them. I can't believe I didn't put one on. When I, like I already had my hair up and I'm bun. Well, I was gonna have it down like a side swept thing, like I pinned it up. But I always, whenever I do that kind of thing, like it looks really good in person on camera, it looks awful or like my part line. Oh, oh no, I'm go like this. My part line just looks really bad. Like I'm balding, but look at it. Scrunchies are my favorite, and this is my like favorite color ever. Like mauve colors, and they feel so soft. It's by 
uh, Kitsch, and there's four, and I love scrunch. Oh, there's five. <gasps> I love this. I am just such a happy camper right now. Scrunchies are the best. Like, they make your hair look a little bit wavy after you use them, and they don't make them have those, like, dense, like, other hair ties do for my hair, at least. I have very thin, fine, uh, straight hair, like, straight AF hair. <laughs> These are $12. It's blush toned scrunchies. Yes. Should I say, like, blush is my favorite color? Mm. Blush to me, like, when I, like, fl flush on my face, is like, red. I wish I looked like this. Okay, there's another thing that fits this. It's by Complex Culture, a brand I love through Ipsy, which I guess they own. But I've been needing something like this. Like, I use face rollers all the time. I hold all my tension in my jaw. Like, I think I have TMJ, like, I kind of was, like, self-diagnosed, like, my doctor, like, a co-worker and I talked about it. We thought that's what I had. Uh, and yeah, so I've always just had problems with that and it's been kind of bad lately, especially since I had those migraines, remember, which may be linked. And this is a facial like roller tool or not roller. Uh, I've been using rollers. This is like a massager. So it requires a double A battery and you're supposed to use it on clean skin. And I forgot to do it today, but I used it last night. Kind of had a headache. It was hurting. And I used this and it like relaxed my muscles in my face and made me feel so much better. I was like ecstatic last night. That's when I decided like this was my favorite box ever <laughs> after all the things. So let's see how much this is. I'm curious. $58. It's a Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. And it's how you get glowing skin and sculpted features. So I could do that too, that's a plus. But for me, it just really relieved the tension. Like, it's crazy. Let's see if I can know. It's a strong vib vibration too. I might say something TMI, but I took this battery out of something that makes a similar sound. <laughs> I don't use like an old one, don't worry, I'm fine. Uh, most new ones don't really have batteries anymore anyways, right? But, oh my. It just seriously is so helpful. And it's cute, and it rolls gold, it matches everything. So Patrick uses this to work skincare before makeup. A little extra prep always goes a long way. And it helps reduce puffiness, which I suffer from, uh, and relieves tension and sculpture features. Oh, I love this. This box is so good. It was like made for me. <laughs> and then the rest of the products, like there's so much in here. I swear there's more than seven or eight. This one, I wanted to ask you guys, I don't know if I should keep it or not. This is by Patrick Ta. He is a brand, if you didn't know. And this is the Patrick Ta for brows, major brow shaping wax. And then also the jewel ended brow brush. Brow brush. <laughs> and this is in clear. And it says to maximize the shape of your brows, uh, you do a few upward strokes. Wait, where does it say what it's talking? Yeah, it says to use it over clean brows. And I don't have any like color to my brows. I barely have brows at all and I have to use a pencil. I kind of went like darker than usual today. Um, and I didn't know if I would ruin it or like this would work still. Like clean brows or just like your natural brows, right? Like, so I think this would be for someone who has like beautiful brows normally. Like you guys let me know. Anyone out there who uses brow wax with liner underneath it or do you put the liner on top? I need some advice. Maybe Patrick has some in here for me. Uh, but look, like this matches. So I might give this away, not in today's video, just in case, because I do want to try something by him. I want to try one of his blushes. I've heard they're amazing. Some people got them, I think. Yeah, the, his blushes are $32. This wax and brush, they come together for $40. Oh, okay. I think you can use stuff after. So allow the wax to dry after you've brushed it through, then you can build the brows however you want. Activate the wax is step one. Then brush through your brows, let them dry, and then laminate the hairs. It doesn't talk about what you should do. So advice, please. Uh, And we still have three things left. I did use this last night, and this is a hair product by Air, I think it's a brand. Air Texture Air infused with quartz and mica. And this is supposed to add texture to your hair after you style it. And it smells really good. I have to use it some more. I was gonna use it again today, but I ended up just uh, throwing my hair up like I already told you. 
But I love hair products that smell good, especially when you're on like day four hair. I think I am. I lose track, but I'm pretty sure I washed on Sunday. What and this is $28 and it's supposed to give you volume and texture. Two things I need and it oil absorbs. So I need that too because day four, whatever day it is. So I'm really excited about this. I want to smell it. Can I smell without spraying it? I don't want to waste any. And it looks really pretty too. Now the next two things. Uh, one is a skincare item by 111 Skin, and this is the Y Theorem Day Cream, NACY2. What? It's like a formula. So this is probably expensive AF. I'm trying not to swear apparently. So I feel like I keep saying that, but I'm also like a 30-year-old reverting to a 22-year-old. Really? I'm so weird. You know, I don't see this either. So I guess some of the things might not have been Patrick's choice. That makes sense. I mean, he just curated some of the box because there's like variations, right? So... What do you want to guess? I'll Google it. Oh, yeah, my phone is by me. $115. So you get 50 mLs. It has hyaluronic acid, which isn't everything, and vitamin antioxidant. And usually their products are super fragranced. I don't like to talk crap. I just want to know why some things are super expensive. And if they work, let me know. It's kind of hard to type with longer nails when you're not used to it. It's more than 50% higher than what I said. It's $270? Like, they didn't even have to throw this in to, like, inflate the pricing of the box. I think you're supposed to get at least $350 worth. 21 reviews, 5 stars. $270. I'm going to use only this and see how my skin looks. I've never used such a bougie moisturizer, have I? No. And I thought like Sunday Riley was expensive. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the last item, which one of you guys will be getting, and it's by Pat McGrath, which I think is exciting, but I wish she would be cruelty-free unless things have changed. Uh, I don't think anyone's really changed recently. But enlighten me. <laughs> I hope so that's wrong. So the Fetish Eyes Mascara. I feel like I got a sample of this at some point, and a lot of people really like this, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag. This is like how all her stuff comes. Uh, so there will be a giveaway in today's video. We'll talk about it now. Just a small giveaway. Um, probably some other things that I got in the Ipsy regular bag, which I don't remember what's in there. Uh, so super easy. Just leave a comment down below. What should it be? Do you think the $270 moisturizer will do anything but, like to my skin. I feel like it might be really fragranced if it's like their other skincare, like those masks they have that are $32 each that you throw away after one use and like irritate my skin. I don't know. Have you guys used it? Do you think bougie skincare is worth it? I think like the mid range it is. So you guys can talk about that or you can just leave a comment at all. <laughs> um, just be subscribed to my channel, leave a comment, like this video and uh, watch the whole thing. If you can share with family and friends, uh, same with my other giveaways, and yeah, we'll just have this going for a week. I'll leave the date on the screen. What's a week from now? What's the date today? Is a week from now the 24th? Something like that. Uh, <laughs> all the information will be down below. Uh, and yeah, just randomly select a winner. Make sure you follow the rules, and I'm going to get mascara and other things too. <laughs> so that was everything, you guys, and I hope freaking love it. I talked about it for 23 minutes and I said I was going to do a quick video and we still have some other stuff to talk about. So I'm going to restart the camera and we're going to open my Ipsy glam bag. Look at this eyeshadow. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking in the viewfinder. Everything else probably isn't perfect. But I love it. So now let's open up the $12 bag. Super cute. Love that it has this. And it has the theme, send love. All you need is love. Um, I 
almost, you know, no one will copyright me for that awful <laughs> uh, Beatles, but sign, seal, deliver. Oh my God, they're making me want to sing so much. So this actually has everything on the inside. So we do get some full size products in here. I always say the regular Ipsy is like, the $12 bag is my most recommended beauty box if you're just starting, because you get full size items. It's amazing, it's $12. Uh, so if you can afford it and you want to try out a beauty box, definitely try this one. Uh, we've got some full size items. So we got uh, eyeliner by Pixie. I've heard good things about their eyeliners, but I think I always give them away. I don't know, what one is this? It looks pretty like gold. This is their, oh, let's read this, because there's a little plastic over it. The Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in Rose Glow, and this is $12, so the price of the bag has the intensity of a liquid liner with the ease of a pencil. Let's watch it. I want to try it now. I think I said that last time, then I always end up giving them away <laughs> to you guys, because you deserve it. You're awesome. I have so much stuff. Oh, it's so smooth and creamy. It's like you can, oh my God, it's like melted. It's that warm here probably. I mean, I could sharpen it, but that is creamy. It seems like you could use this as a shadow even. Pretty, but look at it. It was so soft. I want to smell it. Why do I want to smell it? But it's really pretty. And then we have a brush by Fair. I really like Fair brushes. Okay. This is their flat foundation 615F. Now, I think I might give this away because I use just like BB creams and use my fingers <laughs> to apply it. Uh, I used to use brushes all the time, so I am going to add this. Like my fingerprints are on it, but I never used it or anything like that. And if you care, you can just opt out of the one. <laughs> but I touched the brush. You should clean all your brushes when you get them. PSA of the day. Uh, and the next item is going to be in the giveaway as well because it's by NARS, which is not cruelty free and does have documented animal testing like still done unless things have changed again. I don't go online anymore. Besides uh, so to promote my own stuff. <laughs> this is the NARS Cosmetics Power Matte Lip Pigment in Star Woman. So it's a red color, I believe. It is a, a deluxe size. I really wish uh, these beauty sites, like beauty box websites, like your profile, you can select to like get only cruelty free items. It's cute though, like it has the same packaging as the full size. It's a full coverage liquid lipstick and it's an award winner for a good reason. Why? Super moisturizing and goes on weightless and dries down to a smudge proof matte finish. So. One of you guys will get that. And then the last item in here, I may or may not keep. Maybe I'll, it's super cute. Maybe I'll keep it because I do moisturize a lot. <laughs> Kenzie So Pretty Body Lotion. Isn't this cute? What does it smell like? It's a deluxe sample and, oh wait, no, there's two things left or one after this. So this smells dreamy. Delightfully scented formula infused with bright tangerine, apple, and green florals and will keep your skin soft and moisturized for the long haul. Okay, never mind. Can't smell it right now because my nails. I feel like I just looked one up. I need to get used to them first and let them fully dry before I F it up. Um, but I do love little things like this. It's cute. I love body lotion and I want to smell dreamy. Glass, I where are you? It always happens when I can't find something. I sit up and it's like under my butt somehow. Uh, but this is by Galact. Wait, is it Galactic the brand? Ico. Ico Galactic Lid Gloss in Zodiac. I love Zodiac stuff. So this is a deluxe sample. It's a creamy copper lid gloss. You just use your fingers to blend it over your lids for a sheer wash of shimmer, or pack it on for a full-on glitter effect. Ooh, I want to do it. But I feel like I should give this to you guys because I don't reach for these things all the time. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch it. Someone out there is like, I like wish I could share things with you guys that I've tried because I have a lot of those things. But I have friends I can share. And maybe I'll love it. I've given away like 70, maybe more percent of my stuff the past year. Or like a few months at least. I don't know. I can't because it has money. Let's try though. I should have known I would need this. 
I put it away right before filming. I'm, I'm like, I already opened the boxes at least, you know, I won't need this, but a tweezer is a great tool to use if you unbox a lot of things. Like that was so easy. This looks really pretty. I'm so happy. My long nails. This is so pretty. And that's just a little bit. Oh my god, yes. I don't even care that my eyes are all bloodshot. Whenever I put eyeshadow on my lower lash line, that happens. I wonder if I like, get powder in them. I have to like change my technique. But that was everything <laughs> for the Ipsy Glam Bag for February, my paid bag. Again, if you guys missed the PR unboxing, I will leave that down below. Are you guys as impressed with Ipsy X as I am? Like, I don't, like I'm not giving enough attention to the real, regular Ipsy Glam Bag, but I've also been filming for like 35 minutes, which is ridiculous because I thought this would be quick, but I'm in too good of a mood. But yeah, I don't think that was a bad bag at all. We got full-size items. I get to share some of it with you. Ipsy X is so dang good. I can't wait to see what's coming in May. I think it's going to be another good one because it's my birthday month. Not like I'm one of those people that like cares, but I think that usually is a good vibe and I have a good vibe about this entire box. The aesthetic of it, like I love how everything coordinates and looks so pretty. <laughs> but now quickly, I want to show you guys another thing I've always wanted. Another thing I Something I've always wanted was a necklace with my name on it in cursive, like forever. Like, was it like early 2000s? Was it like Sex in the City that made these popular? They were probably popular before, but I've always wanted one. And this company reached out to me, uh, Denali, and they are based out of Italy, I believe, or they was called Denali, Italy. And, you know, I, sometimes I'm skeptical about these sites now. Like, you know, they'll like have insane pricing and stuff. Like, they'll be like, it's $200, but it's reduced down to 50 or 75, you know? And it's like, why was it ever worth that? But like, these are made from like certified sterling silver. Like they have the 925 in them. I looked, I actually am an old lady now and have my magnifying glass <laughs> and I used it and their prices are normal. Like they're like $39 or something like that. I'll link both the ones I have below and they come in such cute packaging. Like I am so happy <laughs> and they're good quality and they don't overprice things and scam people. Like you know what I'm talking about. I think I've talked about it with some of you guys, but like, it comes with this little bag in there, like so cute. And there's a card. And there's a 10% off code, which I will leave down below. I believe when you go on their website, code pops up too. So thank you for your purchase. Coupon code is love. Yeah, love in all caps. And the boxes they provide are really nice. And that's where the necklace was. And inside there, there's like one of those little wife stick. If there's any like fingerprints on it, makeup, whatever. Ooh. I thought I turned off getting random calls. You know how you can do that on an iPhone? Like unknown callers don't come through. I don't answer anyone's calls. <laughs> Even if I, well, sometimes it will because I'll be like, why? They know I don't answer the phone. What's wrong? Um, but they were so nice to send me multiple styles. So this is what it looks like, the other one. Again, I will leave the names down below and you can pick out the length. I got two of the 20 inch, but, and I made sure to wear it in the way that you guys could see, like how you look in the mirror, you can read it. Um, if you're going out of the house, you'd want to like switch it around, but I don't do that. I film and I'm at home looking in the mirror, so. Oh my god, it's 8 o'clock. I think I've been filming since like 6. What's wrong with me? I just really like you guys. So the one I'm wearing, what one's what? The one I'm wearing is the personalized cursive name necklace in gold plated silver. And it is $34.90. And you can get it in gold, silver, or rose gold. And it you can get it between 18 inches, or no, 14 to 22 inches. Uh, and they say 18 is the average size, but I'm pretty sure I asked for 20. And you can adjust it too. Uh, and they have way more things, not just personalized jewelry, by the way. And the other one I have is a small classic name necklace in gold plated sterling silver. Wait, I do not disturb on. Wait. 
oh, you know, they probably called again because it went straight to my voicemail because I'm on Do Not Disturb. And they still have a Valentine's Day sale going on right now. Buy two, get one free, and free shipping over $50. And yeah, they have a bunch of different stuff. I just really like the ones I've got. It's like simple. It has my name. I always wanted that. I don't know if it's even cool or trendy anymore, but I mean, it must be kind of. It's, they're selling it, right? I don't even care because I don't go by trends. I'm like way behind or not even close to what's trendy right now. But that is it for today, guys. Uh, thank you for being here. I can't wait to hear what you think about Ipsy X. Am I just like in a goofy mood? But I don't think so. I think it's really dang good and I hope they continue. I know it's the first one. Sometimes like boxes is going on, but like I've never been this like excited about one in a while. So I can't wait to hear what you think. Make sure to leave comments down below. You can comment every day if you want until the giveaway ends. Uh, super simple, nothing huge. Uh, just a thank you to you guys. I love giving back and I'm gonna try and do so more often. So yeah, I love you guys. Look forward or look out for the vlog. I look forward to recording the vlog. Uh, special thank you to my channel members. You support means the world to me. Uh, you guys know the spiel down below. You can join or just read the perks. I would love it if you join, but no pressure. Just by being here and watching is super helpful and supportive and I appreciate it so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Stay safe, stay healthy. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.